if your app is based around sharing photos, having an image editor is super important. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you how to build one into your Flutterflow app. This way, users can easily crop out the unwanted parts, cover up the sensitive areas, and a lot more. So let's get started. As always, we are going to start our tutorial by creating a new custom widget. Name it Image Editor. Head to the custom code link I have in the description and copy it and paste the code over here. And now we need to add the dependencies. In this video, we are going to use a package called Pro Image Editor. And at the end, click the refresh button and click save. Now the parameters are automatically added. The first one is the initial image we start the editing. And the second one is a callback that returns the edited image. We are going to implement this image editor on create post page. So the flow looks like this. The user clicks on add an image, selects the image, edits it, and then we upload the image and create the post. Now we need to let the user to select their image. So just add a new action flow to a stack or the container, search for upload, and the upload type is going to be local. Next, we need to create a new component. The component's name is going to be image editor bottom sheet. In this component, we are just going to put our image editor custom widget and put infinite in width and height, and we don't need to enforce the width and height. Now we need to put value into the fields. For that, we are going to just forward the parameters of the component into the custom widget. So add two new components parameters. First is the initial image, and the type is uploaded file bytes. The second one is unsave, which is a callback or action. And the callback has a parameter called edited image bytes. The type is also uploaded file bytes and click confirm. And now we are just going to pass those parameters into the fields of the custom widget. For unsave, we are just going to call the callback in our callback. Okay. Oh, awesome, we have a typo over here. It's in save, not unsave. So pass the new image from the component to the callback field. It's simple, don't worry. Now we can head back to our create post page and show a bottom sheet. And the bottom sheet is our image editor bottom sheet. Lots of repeating today. We are going to pass the uploaded local file to image. And on save, we need to save the edited file bytes. So we are going to create a new local pages state. The type is the same, click confirm. And on the callback, we just update the pages state. So a new action, search for update pages state. And from the action parameters, we set the image bytes. Now we need to update the UI. So we are going to only show the container if the image byte is not set and show the image if we have an image byte in our pages state. Be careful, it's the pages set, not the uploaded local file. And on the image widget, we are going to use the pages state image byte to show the image. Now, when the user clicks on create post, we need to upload the edited image. So add an upload action. Uh, the upload type is going to be Firebase, but the media source is uploaded media. And over here, select the pages state. And when we want to update the document, we use the uploaded file URL, not the local file bytes. If you're new to this, these can be a bit tricky oh. and confusing. No. All right, now the app is ready to test, but there is a catch over here. The package will not work properly on test mode. And also, if you want to deploy to web and test it, you need to make sure that this switch is enabled. Did you know this video was published almost a month ago on Patreon as an early access video? So we are going to have a lot more content coming up on Patreon. I'm planning to do a build with me series. So if you're fancy to support me and the channel, consider joining the Patreon community to see amazing detailed tutorials. Now that the app is deployed, we can test it out with the dummy picture. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching the video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to watch a lot more videos like this. See you in the next one.